Hey you guys, Bandit Tex here, and today I have a Protoss versus Terran for you. I'll be playing Protoss, and um, you know, I I had been for a little while going DTs in every matchup, just because I'm so close to Masters and I'm sitting in Diamond One forever. Um, I've stopped doing it in PBT because you can literally do whatever you want in this matchup and still win. But this was still when I was uh, I was just trying to get those free wins. So skip past the initial part of the game where nothing happens. Reaper barely gets out. Fast forward till something interesting happens. Okay. Again, it's a nade. That, that was a terrible nade, but still gets away. It's like a 1-1-1 one, one, one up against Quick Twilight Robo. Okay. Get that. Looks like we got the Reaper with the Stalker. Stalker comes up to see what's going on, immediately gets pushed away. T Shrine goes down. Eight Marine drop and a three Hellion run by at the same time. Now this guy was actually pretty cool. He uh he multi pronged the shit out of Mr. Grinch. So, Adept goes out. Eight Marine Drop comes in. And a target down from Twilight. Now they start shooting some stalkers. Meanwhile, Hellions in the map. Warping some DTs to deal with this, because I don't actually think I can kill it with the stalkers. Pick up the DTs, head across the map. He starts up Raven, knowing that I have teeth now. And these Hellions just drive out with most of their health still. So, six workers killed for like two Marines. Uh, tries to drop on the Prism. Almost loses the Medivac too, but that's not so it's going to be Don't know what that was. ETs drop in, get picked up so they don't die to the first scan. Second one's gonna go over here and try and get some kills, get some marine, get some SUV. This one gets two marines and dies. So that basically went as as badly as it could. Um, still has the medevac alive. Hellions are somewhere that they are. We have five blink stalkers to come over here and try and put on some pressure. Walk up here and shoot this tank. It would have been really cool if I had shot that medevac, but. Let's see in a moment. Okay, with tanks like that, stalkers are gonna have to just sit here on the outside. Meanwhile, he's got his third up already. Stalkers are shooting a couple of, uh, a couple of hellions. Gotta blink away before they can get that medevac so they don't get blasted by two tanks. The stalkers are just kind of over here, trying to keep tabs on the army, keep a little bit of pressure on. This tank sieges up on the high ground, and gets some, some sick shots off, so it's a SCB and we stay outside of this tank range. This is actually like a sick spot. Get some zealots at home, we made some archons and a mortal, because I assumed he was just going to attack me after all that I had lost, but... He didn't, so, you know, we got charge, we have blink, got some units at home, getting Colossus and Colossus range. Um, so it's pretty bad, but luckily he's just taking a third, so, you know, always happy to play a macro PVT. So is the Zealot. Units lost, mm, about a thousand more for me. 
Zealot's just running around scouting. So just die for no reason. Three more zealots decide to take the death by tank train. You know, an attack. This attack was probably not a great idea, but these couple of zealots are enough to at least save the immortal and the colossus, which is pretty big. Losing the archons kind of sucks, but keeping these robo units alive is is pretty clutch. Fourth base coming up for this guy. He's on 2 2. Do I even have a forge yet? I'd be surprised. No, no forge. Oh, we don't need it. We don't need it. Protoss doesn't need upgrades. We just need the good units and then the, the, the men with guns die. Okay, let's see. Looks like we're loading up a triple drop. Sending that shit out. One zealot's gonna come over here and die to a mine. One zealot's gonna come over here and start attacking the command center. Mine gonna just wander into the fourth. Double drop. Chilling for a second. Go ahead and drop two in the fourth. Send one into the main. Army's all over at the third, so just get wrecked by this drop. Prism doesn't get clicked on. Very convenient for me. Me, but the fourth dies for three. All the ropes at it. Main gets wrecked. Picks up. This one comes back into the main right as I'm getting pulled back to the net. Link finally takes care of that one. Takes out the Twilight. Luckily, both of the Twilight upgrades are done. Kills the Robo Bay, which is super annoying. Again, doesn't click on the Prism. But whatever. Gets the Medivac full of Marines. Now it's just an empty Medivac. Uh, not something to super worry about. Mines over here, still just racking up the kills. Two half health charge lots, gonna see what they can do. Probably just die to more mines. Oh, maybe. Nah, they're, they're gonna maybe get a cancel on a on the sixth. Very cool. Okay, winding up for another attack. Three Archons, three Colossus, and a Mortal. A decent attack, but. The Sim City sucks super bad, so maybe just get a Viking. Would have been nice to get a couple more in the go. Meanwhile, DT in the main. DT in the, the fucking whatever base this is. We run away because it gets scanned. Zealot's over here. Zealot DT in the main. One DT is gonna run away from this scan. Four DTs. Split them up. Okay, one DT dies to that scan. One gets picked up. Another dies to that scan. Gets dropped over into the third. This one's still going to town. That one walks into it to Raven? Alright, uh, Raven. Okay, and the workers. It's now 31 to 16. He's building turrets fucking everywhere, as he probably should. Mine finally gets cleared up at the fourth. There's a big ol' army coming. Comes, he stims in. Runs into three Archons, three Colossus, and a battery overcharge. And gets absolutely smashed, taking unbelievable splash damage from those six units. Full retreat, the stalkers are blinking after. This one Archon's getting some, some hits off on the retreat, doing some splash. They finally run away before the tanks start tearing them up. 
a crazy hold for being like 80 supply down, but you know, we're at 1 1 finally. We did apparently get a forge um, and start. Uh, yeah, we got double forge upgrading. So 1 1's helping out a lot for that attack. It's only at 2 2, so down two upgrades for that attack as well. But battery overcharge and splash damage, too good. Got Celads over here. A DT in the main. A DT in the that. A DT in the third. This army gets shut down. This <laughs> base falls to another army. DT's still going to work. This army gets chased down by enough to slaughter it pretty entirely, but we pull back. We're now up to 31 to 41 workers killed. A super depot goes down in the back of the base. Two two is gonna go ahead and finish up for us. Fifth base established, retaking the fourth. So it got sniped. Half of it going to the top. No medevacs here. Just a couple, very almost dead landed Vikings, but multi prong nonetheless. Four zealots run directly into the army and get waxed. Four zealots also run directly into the army and get waxed. The base at the top gets cancelled. Zealots over here die. Army repositioning. This one hero zealot. Making it to the mineral line. We're gonna keep our an eye on what this guy did, Jeeves. Main army. Resting up the middle. Army going to the left. Army going to the right. This army. Purpose back around. The top base. Cancelled again. Bottom base. Under siege. Army goes ahead and gets a flank on it. Starts to run away. Sell it, Warpin, and preemptive shield battery overcharge. Catch him. Slow him down quite a bit. Zealots over here finally get cleared up. This army is on the run. Getting chased down. This army is still at the top, having killed that base. Pull back. Not trying to fight into him yet. Retake the base. Ugh. Fights have been getting better. We're, we have Storm now. Just get more some Storm Templar. Really help with these big clumps of stuff that he keeps sending at me. Right, again, army on the right, army on the left. Coming in at the same time. Again, my army rolling down the middle. The right base is forfeit. The left base is at least going to be able to break this army. The blink is good, but the stalkers are dumb. They shoot the wrong thing. This army pulls back, comes back in. A high Templar without enough energy for a storm. Probes are dying. The drop gets out of the main, the gnat again, and goes back to the fort. This army goes home instead of pushing its luck, I suppose. This army finally gets jumped on. One of the medevacs goes down. Medevacs get jumped on over here. Two of them go down. Three Vikings go two Vikings go in the main. Some stalkers warp in to fight them. Meanwhile, this army, out on the map, not enough support, gets jumped on. Here we get a storm. Center mass. Beautiful storm. His base is forfeit. Charge lots run away from a planetary. Another army up on the top left. Comes in, undefended fourth base. 
Ben Protoss Army just gonna ignore all the tanks up at the third and sprint directly into the main. The army at the top kills the base, gets to work on the probes. The main Protoss Army just walks into the main. It's Storms at the ready in case anything comes with serious. Got stalkers warping into the main. And that looks like it's under siege and probably going to go down. Some zealots and some stalkers trying to hold. The stalkers just abandoned the zealots. Main base still getting obliterated. There's a warp, the recall of High Templar and Colossus to stop this, but enough. We'll drop dies. Well, main base is still getting chewed up. Gonna come down and try and fight. A whole lot of marauders and some libs. Makes it seem like it's probably a better idea to just sit up Top. Looking at this fight, I was thinking that I really need the Archons in the front. They kind of just derp out the whole time. But a nice blink forward is going to go ahead and get me both of these lips, really making this fight a lot easier. Rotter's going down. Got the storm. Stalkers coming in. Stalker Colossus coming in for another attack over here. <laughs> Two Colossus decide to fight a tank. Get jumped on by the bio. But since the bio's gone, this is finally able to move down into the net. Stalkers are killing the fifth base. Getting reinforced by more Stalkers. And he finally just taps it out. After being incredibly behind with the initial DT attack and surviving a attack where I was 60 supply behind we go ahead and pull it through uh, it was a crazy game hope you all enjoyed uh, and I'll see y'all next time